Okay. Welcome back to the channel, Sonny Squad. If you're new, welcome to the channel. How y'all doing? I'm Sonny and this is Sonny Kicks. All right, now check it. If you're looking for dope sneaker reviews, one of the best stone feet shots, how to finesse the kicks, whether it be how to style, the best thing since sliced bread, True. or how to lace them up, or any other different sneaker related content, then you, my friend, are in the right place. Subscribe and join the squad. Batter up, lyrics and home runs. I'll do this for fun. They got Marin Judge with it, tough with it. Burn it through paper as if a slug hit it. See you pay, now it's time to pay attention. And without any hesitation, y'all already know what y'all here for. Today, I'll be showing y'all a review and on feet of the men's Ugg boots. Of course, in the all black colorway, which in my opinion is the best colorway of these. Now, honestly, there's nothing special about the box at all. It's just all black box that says Ugg for men. It has two sizing labels on there. I don't know why, but it does now getting straight into it for sizing i do suggest going true to size and if you put them on for the first time or try them on then of course your feet are going to feel tight and that's only because of all the fur that's on the inside and honestly like after a couple wears or even if you wear them all day that all that fur is going to like start to settle down and your feet is going to just mold right into them very quickly i like, honestly these ugg boots feel more like how do you say mid top slippers that's that's exactly what it is these are like slippers but mid tops i don't know what this material is that they use for the sole but it honestly does hold up for a really long time i beat my other pair into the ground and yeah them, them joints is done they lean in the whole ugg patch right here i could feel that on the side of my ankle because yeah nah I beat those things to the ground. Which is exactly why I had to grab a new pair for this season. And now I did want a different color, but of course, I didn't want to get the tan ones because I'm trying to get the Air Force One highs in the wheat. And the price point on these is very affordable. I think they're 130 or 120. It I guess it depends on when you get them because at Foot Locker, I've seen that they were going for 120, but at Journeys, I think they were 130. So that's, it's a little weird. I'm personally not a fan of boots whatsoever, but when it came down to buying a boot, I don't want to spend too much money. So of course, that's the only reason why I don't have a pair of Tims because dog, they're after tax, they're $200. They're really not even that comfortable at all. They're heavy. I'm not saying I don't like Tims, but if y'all lowered that price point on Timberlands, I would rock them. The fact that they're like the same price as Jordans and other sneakers that I like to buy, and I don't even like boots. I'm not paying that much for a boot. Now these on the other hand were 120, 130. They're light, they're extremely comfortable. So, and I'm mainly gonna use these for when it's like snowing outside or if it's real cold and I got a nice fit to put with these. So I'm gonna bring them out. Now, obviously there's a lot more styling options for Tim's but I'm not a boot guy so I'm not gonna spend that much on Tim's. The only reason I don't like boots is because they're big and bulky. And these are bulky but it's like, they're like a slipper so it's like you wearing slippers with laces and it and it counts as a casual shoe so i like how they kind of broke the barrier with that so that it's casual but at the same time that it doesn't look lazy and honestly i have like nothing else to say about these with all that chit chat out the way let's go ahead and see what these looking like on feet shall we we interrupt this program to bring you what away from being higher than the atmosphere no man but god and that's barely loyal to the fame and to the money whom i married i rap like bruce fight it's hard to compare me i might be too nice for y'all to act scary i'm very sure i'm more than you can fathom i spit acid all the shit that you can't imagine pen and pad and paper darkening from the ashes of raw classes class act full of madness i heard the early bird gets the word and all the feathers he can ever earn Cheddar cheese is what I must collect And word to I'll die for my respect Never been a sucker, Google that, that's a fact Earth would be detached before I dash with scrap The plug hit me back, I could finally relax The packs on the road, they arrive right I could finally relax from the Thrax in the capsule
Versus me, I'm a local to dawn. Giving you bars and you ain't getting bong. Locked in a cell in your mind. I've been here for some time, man. It's crazy, we don't get along. I see the way you be plying this shit. It's all in your eyes when you pocket the grit. One thing that I know you best running that store, you take everything green and you pop them in dip. You tell you the truth, you're an opportunist. If you think you can, then you gotta do it. Pull up on the brakes and the rocket through it. At the end of the day, this is riding music. I'm the man, not your man, baby. Don't confuse it. And I don't give a damn about a humble movement. I'm just talking my shit, cause I'm going through it. I don't bug, I don't hear, I'm a fucking loser. Ask if I sign, I'ma tell him like 10 million. If not, don't ask me again. I never trust for a verse, but it cost for a hearse, so I might as well profit the pit. You stuck in a cycle of gas and your friends, not smoking them out, but you lying to them. How me and my brothers were keeping. Thank you everybody for tuning into the video. If you enjoyed it, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, or if you haven't yet. What are you waiting for? The grind is not stopping. We're on a road to 2K. Comment down below your thoughts on men Ugg boots and yeah. Hope you guys all have a great day. Stay safe and see you next time. Hello, it's me. I'm a local to Dawn. Giving you bars and you ain't getting bong. Locked in a cell in your mind. I've been here for some time, man. It's crazy. We don't get along. I